नमस्कार हॉटी वेलकम टू ऑल नॉलेज सीकर्स टू मै चानल दिस्ज डॉक्टर मधुसूदन राव कड़प इन दिस वीडियो ई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लाइन दि क्यूंग पैरामीटर्स फॉर् डिफरेंट मॉडल क्यूंग मॉडल सो इन सम अदर वीडियो ई हेव एक्सप्लाइन दि कैंडा नोटेशन फॉर् डिफरेंट क्यूंग मॉडल in this form that is uh, a slash b slash c colon d slash e slash f here we have important queuing models the first one is uh, the single server queuing model with markovian that means with inter arrival and service times following exponential distribution in single server and queue discipline being first come first served and there is no limitation on the queue size or the capacity of the serving facility and there is no limit on the arriving customers that is calling population and uh, this model can be found in in general in uh, self service stores where uh, the uh, in cash counters and a mechanic or a service person taking care of the servicing of vehicles and the trucks at yard because uh, the trucks which are taken for loading or unloading will, will be taken in the order of arrival and will be cleared one by one and uh, doctors especially in clinics where they will take patients one by one and in stores where storekeeper will serve the requirements of different department people who approach the store to get the materials required for their department and in uh, single window offices where uh, all the services will be provided at a single uh, point of contact and in uh, railway marshalling yards and then uh, ship yards for loading or unloading so wherever this kind of process is followed and there is no limit on the calling population that is the number of customers as well as the capacity of the queuing system as uh, given in examples so we use uh, this model to solve such problems and uh, the second one is uh, a limited capacity model where the queue length is finite and this kind of model can be found especially in railway stations where a station may have three or four railway tracks and it can accommodate three or four trains in the platform depending on availability of the platforms and may have one or two trains in the yards on either side and if any other train has to enter once all these lines are full the other train has to wait in some other station so its capacity is limited and coming to the limited source model that means uh, the calling population is limited if we consider the mechanics working in a factory in a factory the number of machinery is limited it is not infinite so suppose each mechanic takes care of a particular division or department then he has to attend only a few machines in such case the calling population for him is limited and coming to this model this is multi server model which we find in uh, banks where multiple tellers or clerks providing similar kind of service to different types of customers and uh, in offices where uh, there may be several uh, clerks or officials who will uh, answer any query by the customer the tax consultants and so many other such cases and uh, the shipyard bets bus etc and the last model is the one where 
the service is not completed in a single stage maybe like uh, in uh, buffets in cafeteria where a queue will be formed at each stage the service will not be completed in a single step so if it takes place in multiple stages suppose k be the number of stages and uh, the service time follows erlang distribution with parameter k in such case examples are cafeteria and uh, some uh, maintenance process where the maintenance will be uh, i mean conducted in uh, different stages so these are all different examples for the models which have been listed here now coming to the queuing parameters for each model we have some parameters to evaluate the performance of the queuing system and these parameters are first one is a rho that is the traffic intensity or in other words called utilization factor this represents the extent of busy time for the servers now if you observe for all models except the multi server model rho is lambda by mu and for this particular model it is lambda by mu c where c is the number of servers so one can easily remember the expression for rho if we list out like this the formula for all the single server i mean the parameters of single server model have been uh, derived i have given derivations in some other video like uh, for p not which is uh, probability of having uh, no customer or idle server and pn probability of having n customers and then uh, ls lq expected number of customers in the system and expected number of customers in the queue so these relations have been already derived similarly for other models also we can derive the expressions for these parameters here for p not we have deriv i mean uh, the expressions like this here for these two models it is same that is 1 minus lambda by mu for single server model and for multi stage service model and for the other models that is multi server and for limited calling population and limited capacity models it varies whereas uh, coming to the probability of having n customers pn it is similar in these three models for these three models it is same the expression is lambda by mu whole power n into p not once p not is calculated we can easily calculate pn where n varies varies from 1 to maybe depending on the it may be infinite or n like that so we can use these relations to find pn here in order to remember easily the expressions for these parameters we have to follow some trick like see here you can find the denominator sigma m factorial by m minus n factorial into lambda by mu whole power n this is in the denominator and uh, excluding this sigma this term appears here into p not so for p not if you remember this formula if we know this formula for pn we can simply take the denominator part into p not like this in the same way for multi server model we have the term in the denominator sigma lambda by mu whole power n by n factorial where n varies from 0 to c minus 1 where c is the number of servers plus lambda by mu whole power c by c factorial into c mu by c mu minus lambda in this excluding this uh, sigma take the first term that is lambda by mu whole power n by n factorial into p not just like here so once p not the relation for p not is uh, i mean uh, we could remember easily we can uh, draw the relation for p like this similarly ls and lq for these uh, we have some lengthy formula like this for ls and lq whereas uh, for single server model and 
the multi stage model if you observe the difference is that here you find lambda by lambda minus mu minus lambda for ls whereas here it is k plus 1 by 2k into lambda by mu minus lambda if you substitute k equal to 1 then 1 plus 1 by 2 into 1 this term vanishes and you will have only lambda by mu minus lambda all relations that are derived for the multi stage model if you substitute k equal to 1 it is equivalent to the single server model okay so this is how we can uh, easily remember the expressions for ls lq also here these formulae have some similarities so they ex accept the term where it changes if we remember that we can easily draw all the expressions in a tabular form like this which will be very useful while solving the problems whereas uh, for ws and wq for all models except this one for all models ws equal to that is a uh, expected waiting time or time spent by a customer in the system is ls by lambda and wq equal to lq by lambda so no need to derive these lengthy expressions for ws and wq simply you can use these relations once ls and lq are found ws and wq can be easily found using these relations and particular for this particular model that is a, a limited capacity model it is a ls by lambda prime ws equal to ls by lambda prime and wq equal to lq by lambda prime and this lambda prime is equal to lambda into 1 minus p n where capital n is the capacity of the server like this we can use we can tablet all the expressions like this and this will be very useful for students or practitioners while solving queuing related problems thank you very much in some other video i will solve a few typical problems in each model thank you very much